LK99 Superconductor, Science Breakthrough or Hoax? Hmm. Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. LK99, it's uh, considered the greatest invention since the transistor, perhaps the breakthrough science thing that we've been looking for for the 21st century. Uh, so let's get into it. What What is a superconductor, first off? Uh, as you know, most uh, you know copper or aluminum wires, they have certain resistance in there, and so whenever you pass electricity through those uh, wires, they produce uh, a friction, and that friction is heat. Uh, and they discovered way back in 1911 that when you drop the temperature down, uh, you actually get a, a superconductor, which means there's a z nearly a zero uh, resistance in there, and of course that you provides uh, great uh, opportunities for applications. We'll see that in the future. Again, they, uh, this was discovered back in uh, 1911 when he, I guess uh, this Hike Owens uh, took uh, frozen helium and basically froze uh, froze uh, the copper electrical wires down and realized that it had these superconductor qualities. So a little bit into what this does. Uh, in, in the above chart, you can see these uh, uh, the electri electrons that go through a wire here, they're all jumbled up because they're heat. You know, heat causes movement in, in the atoms, and that, they bang into each other, and that causes resistance. And, of course, that resistance is what uh, you have loss in transmission lines, et cetera, et cetera. If you bring the temperature way, way down, and it does take it to a, a low temperature, you can basically freeze freeze the metal or the material, and that allows the electron to pass through without bumping into each other, and it, that's what causes the superconductive uh, properties. And so, that obviously, there's a lot of uh, interesting things that can happen. There's actually two types. There's type one where it it basically allows the electrons to move through the material at an unencumbered rate, or it can actually repel. Of course, this repellent is what gives it, you know, gravitational lift from you know, for like potential trains. And the and the type one will give it. Uh, the superconductive strength in terms of uh, having no resistance in the wires. Um, here's the periodic table. There's actually a lot of materials that are, can be superconductor, but the problem is you have to uh, have it at, uh, at, at near near zero, uh, absolute zero uh, temperatures or close to it. And and the point is, is this LK99? It was uh, basically in South Korea. There's some scientists out there making a lot of hullabaloo on it. Now there are some. You have to go to the description box. There's some links in there, uh, in the post link, that describes uh, what the potential, whether it's a hoax or not hoax. So far, nobody's been able to confirm it, but it, a lot of it's creating a lot of buzz in the science community. It actually is not that complicated of a process to make it. It's lead and it's a. Uh, Lead oxide and lead sulfates to heat it up to 725 centigrade. It creates this product called a laneric, and combining with copper phosphates, it creates this ceramic material that has got this superconductive strength. And the point is, it can have these superconductive properties at room temperature and at normal uh, air pressure. You can also create the slow those electrons down or those uh, uh, the, the the actual uh, atoms in in these materials. With pressure, or or in fact uh, temperature, so that's interesting there. So the question is: This obviously presents interesting uh, scenarios. Uh, is it going to bring us into some kind of a, a futuristic view where we have mag trains and all this superconductor? You, you think of the, all the materials that could uh, be built up from an applicative point of view. Here's kind of a chart: cables, transformers, induction heaters, motors, generate. All these can be have significant improvements in their productivity because they don't have the resistance in the wires. Um, magnetic separation, maglev, electrical, electric aircraft, so a huge thing. Of course, one of the big things is fusion because you wouldn't need uh, all this power to uh, use the magnets to constrain the containment field for fusion. So all these things are um, quite interesting, the uh, applications, both science, medical, transportation, industry, and energy. So huge uh, potential here. It, if it's true, it would be. It truly would be, is uh, like the transistor was in the 20th century. It would be the 21st century breakthrough science. Of course, this is what the claims is. So far, nobody's been able to repeat it. It's only been a week or two. That's why it's a, it's a scientific buzz. So keep an eye on it. Somebody's actually have a, a predicted uh, thing on here, where what's the chance that this is going to be produced uh, by 2025? There's an 80% chance. I think this is a bit 
overreach. And I think this is probably not true. It's, I just can't believe it's this easy, but I could be wrong. And we'll see where it goes. Well, some of the stock markets in, this, on, in South Korea and even in, in the American Semiconductor have just gone up 50 100% based upon this uh, excitement. And it truly is. We asked the AI, what are some of the uh, potential applications of superconductors if it could be done at room temperature? Take a look at the AI and give us your polling. Is this a, is this a science breakthrough or a hoax? Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>